When it comes to buying gold, people ask, what gold should I buy? So we're gonna, in this Q and A, we're gonna use gold eagles. So people ask, should I buy one ounce gold eagles, half ounce, fourth ounce, and one tenth ounce. So those are the four denominations that the US Mint makes. So when it comes to that, there's many different factors when it comes to your needs and goals. So we'll go over, which should you buy? On gold eagles, one ounce, half ounce, fourth ounce, one tenth ounce. The biggest thing you need to look at when you're making a purchase, there's no one size fit all solution for everybody. So if you're looking at the best price and premium, one ounce is by far the way to go. So just to give an example, right now, we're selling one ounce gold eagles with gold at about 1805 for 1915. So that's about 6% roughly over spot and we'd buy them back at 2%. So you got about a 4% difference. Half ounce, right now we're selling them for, if you take it in terms of one ounce, it'd be 2,090, 1,045 for just one. That'd be about 16% over spot. Then we'd buy it back for 4% over spot. So that's a 12% difference. Then on fourth ounce, right now we're selling it for, if you take it to one ounce, 2,160 per ounce, 540 each and we buy them back for 7% over spot. So that is a 13% difference. And then on one tenth ounce gold eagles right now, we're selling them for 225. That's $2,250 per ounce. And if you we buy them back at 8%, so that's a 17% difference. So if you're looking for the best price and premium, obviously most people can't afford to buy, but by far one ounce is the best price and premium. So a lot of times we'll ask people just if they think, just their main reason for purchasing. So if your main reason for purchasing is that you think we're actually gonna be trading this and using this as money for goods and services, then fractional gold is the most practical and the best for ease of use. So one tenth ounce, usually recommend people, if that's their re main reason for buying that they want this to trade and use, use this in terms of trade, that they think that scenario might exist to buy one tenth ounce gold eagles. Have the highest premiums, not worth, but it's much easier obviously to trade in $225 or $200 at once rather than a one ounce gold. So that is gonna be the most practical. So another big reason that people don't think about when you travel with these coins, so let's say you left the United States and you go to Canada or Mexico, or let's just say you go to Europe or somewhere in Asia. These are just treated as the face value of the coins. So I always explain this example to people all the time. Let's say you have seven gold bars, that's over $10,000. Let's say you had seven gold eagles, that's only treated as, this is a $50 face value coin, so that's $350. And this is a half ounce or $25 face value coin, fourth ounce or $10 face value coin, one tenth ounce is $5 face value. So that's treated as a face value. So you can take a lot more one tenth ounce gold eagles traveling, or let's just say fourth ounce, half ounce, rather than a one ounce, because this is treated as $50. So that's another thing to consider is that you can take these coins anywhere in the world and they're just treated as the face value that's on them if you go across borders. So you can take anything up to $10,000 and you don't have to report. So that's another big thing to consider if you are traveling, just how easy you can fit one tenth ounce coming to two of 50 that you can fit those and travel with or even seven one ounce gold coins. So that's Something to keep in mind that a lot of people don't think about is the ease of being able to travel with these coins and uh, go to trade them in for whichever country you're going to. So personally, a lot of people will ask, what do you recommend? So I usually ask a lot of different questions. So namely the questions is, as we talked about, what's the biggest reason for one to purchase? And do you plan to travel outside of the United States? Just do you plan to pass this down to your children? Just really go in depth to understand a little bit more about each person's personal situation to understand what's gonna be the best approach. Uh, so obviously again, no one size fits all, um, but if people, let's say you came and you said you wanna buy $100,000 worth of gold, I would say buy one ounce as much as you can get. Let's say you have a budget of 5,000. I would say get a one ounce gold coin and then fractional gold coin. So usually on fractional gold, I recommend getting 10 one tenth ounce gold eagles just in case that worst case scenario happens that you're protected that you have something that's small that you can trade and then kind of like building a foundation you want to build a foundation so i recommend 10 one tenth ounce gold eagles then get some fractional gold fourth ounce so usually we recommend about four 
fourth ounce so that way you have an ounce and then two half ounce and then get as much one ounce as possible because i'm a big believer in getting the best price and premium so i'm a biggest believer of getting most one ounce gold equals as possible as you can in your portfolio and remember buy real be real get real physical gold and silver from coin huskers coin huskers thanks for watching